Do you have an idea what a Zoom meeting means? Do you want to know how to start a Zoom meeting? Do you want to see the cost and what you need to create a Zoom meeting? Well, stay tuned. This video will tell you more about how to start a Zoom meeting. Before we continue, please subscribe to our YouTube channel by hitting the subscribe button below. And remember to click the notification bell to be the first to know when we upload our videos. Zoom is a web-based audio and video conferencing service. It is used to make phone calls and take part in video conference sessions. A Zoom meeting is an event where one person hosts and invites all other attendees. Other participants might share hosting tasks with the host. Any member can share their screen with the rest of the group. An introductory meeting can accommodate up to 300 people, while a large meeting can accommodate 500 people. Eric Yuan, a former Cisco executive, launched the company in 2011. WebEx, Cisco's online conferencing software, is still a competitor in the conferencing market today. But, Zoom grew swiftly, the service began in 2013, and had a million customers before the end of the year. The corporation was valued at a billion dollars by 2017. It went public in 2019, and has since grown to become one of the most popular video conferencing options on the market. According to research, Zoom is currently the most widely used conferencing application, ahead of similar options like Skype and Google Hangouts. Though Zoom provides various products and services to businesses, including Zoom rooms, conference rooms with dedicated software to make conferencing easier, video webinars, and even phone systems, Zoom Meetings is the company's most popular well-known product. They are audio and video conferences that let two or more people communicate over the internet. They take place in the Zoom app and can be started and shared by anybody. These meetings can also be launched for free using the app or the Zoom website if you have it installed. Of course, Zoom is also available on your phone and may be cast to your television. There are different reasons to start a Zoom meeting for virtual meetings, primarily because of its simplicity. First, Zoom offers a minimalist UI that enhances the experience and is simple to use right out of the box. Secondly, you can make the most of your resources with a single solution for meetings, webinars, phones, and chat. Your employees will like that they have to utilize one tool. Also, Zoom's platform is constantly evolving to meet changing company needs, so you'll never have to look for another communications platform. And they are secure and cost-effective. With Zoom, the cost is based on the number of hosts, not participants. This means you won't be charged a monthly fee for each person who attends a meeting or webinar. Instead, people can participate for free, but the meeting host must pay a monthly fee. Zoom pricing is determined by how you want to use the product. For example, individual users can hold 40-minute meetings with fewer than 100 people for free, but a phone plan costs $10 per month per user, and video calling costs $14.99 per month. Zoom Business and Zoom Enterprise cost $19.99 slash license slash month for 10 to 100 plus licensed business users and allow 300 or 500 people to join meetings for 30 hours at a time. So now, let's look at how to start a Zoom meeting. First of all, to begin using Zoom, go to their website and click the sign up button in the top right corner of the screen. Now, when creating a Zoom account, you have two alternatives. First, you may create a new account with your work email address, log in with your email address, or sign in with your Google or Facebook account, or single sign-on. It's best to sign up for Zoom with your work email address, if you're using it for a company meeting or other work-related purposes. Next, Zoom will send you an email with a link to confirm your registration. Go to that URL to use Zoom sign-up assistance and sign in with your credentials. Then finally, to get started, go to the Zoom website and download the desktop or mobile app slash Zoom client. To begin a Zoom meeting, sign into your Zoom account. Then, select one of the following options by hovering your cursor over the host a meeting link in the top right corner of the screen and choose screen share only, with video on, or with video off. The website will then take you to the Zoom app, where you may begin a meeting. You can change meeting settings or copy the invitation URL that you send to attendees from this page. You'll need a computer with speakers and a microphone, either Windows or Apple, mobile phone, Apple's iOS or Google's Android, to use Zoom. Please note that while webcams are preferred, they are not essential. Zoom's business model Zoom Meetings, its core business, generates most of its revenue through a freemium approach. However, Zoom also makes money from four subscription-based products, Zoom Phone, Zoom Events and Webinar, Zoom Rooms, and Zoom United. Zoom's capacity to scale with customers and recruit larger enterprises is a testament to Zoom's growth potential. Zoom had 1644 customers on January 31, 2021, 
more than double its 641 on January 31, 2020. Then, Zoom made a profit of $672 million in 2021, a massive increase from the $25 million profit company recorded in the fiscal year 2020. Hope this video was helpful? Thanks for watching. Please share your thoughts in the comments section below, and remember to click the subscribe button to be the first to watch new videos on this channel.